and rare T-Rex bones found by three children in North Dakota are now on public display here in Denver. What a thing to get to brag <laughs> about, right? The exhibit officially opened today at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science, and Denver 7's Ethan Carlson gives us a look inside. There's something really special about dinosaurs. Nothing gets these paleontologists acting like kids more than finding a new fossil. They're so big, they're so awesome, um, you know, with the giant teeth and whatnot. We're both like, do you think it could be a T? And he's like, don't say it. She's referring to T-Rex, king of the dinosaurs, a once in a lifetime discovery for any paleontologist. It's banana sized teeth, big teeth and little arms. Let alone a 10 year old boy. When I got where the dinosaur was, I, immediately I knew it was a dinosaur. Brothers Jessen and Liam Fisher and their cousin Caden Madsen made the discovery just eight hours north of Denver in the Badlands of North Dakota. Realizing they found an actual fossil, they contacted the Denver Museum of Nature and Science to oversee the excavation. We're digging and brushing, digging and brushing, and we br brush away and we uncover the lower jaw of a T-Rex with several big teeth sticking out of it. It was just absolute pure joy. I mean, it's a moment I'll never forget. It's a pretty big deal for most people, but for me, it's a really big deal because I want to be a paleontologist. This is serious work. The kids had something in common with the prehistoric predator. It was also a juvenile, an important scientific finding nicknamed Teen Rex. We are really trying to get a better understanding of how dinosaurs grow and mature over their lifetime. And in order to do that, we need fossils of dinosaurs from every single step of that stage of growth. Three kids getting to live out their childhood dream, like the scientists before them. It still gives me goosebumps because it's just a remarkable moment of discovery. In Denver, Ethan Carlson, Denver 7. Definitely a big deal. Well, the exhibit is free with museum admission, and the museum says that it's only a temporary exhibit, so make sure to check it out while you can.